First News is continuing to follow the impact of this terrible attack this morning. First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder is live in Boardman digging deeper and in more details about how the local Jewish community is healing and what precautions are in place to avoid something similar from happening here. Noah. Yes, we're at the Ohev Zedek Synagogue in Boardman with Rabbi Daria Hunter. Rabbi Hunter, good morning. Good morning. So quick question, uh, with all of this happening, the security measures, what are you all doing for that? Well, in terms of the specific security measures, for security reasons, I'm not going to go into any details, but I will say that our synagogue, like other synagogues, is coordinating with the local Jewish Federation to make sure that each part of our community has a level of security and safety that we deserve. Gotcha. And what are the chances of this happening here, and how prepared are you all if this does? Well, I don't want to conjecture as to what the chances are, but I'm confident that we will be prepared in that event through the security planning that we've already engaged in. I certainly hope that nothing like this happens here. I hope it doesn't happen anywhere. This is just a horrific tragedy. And so many members of our community are asking questions about what can be done in the wake of this. And I'm sure that there are going to be some conversations following this about how we can address these issues together as a community. Speaking of those conversations, how, uh, are, how is the Jewish community feeling a day after this happening? There's shock. There's, there's a number of people who just were so upset when they heard about this and just this feeling of this unfortunate violence just bringing up all of these connections to other forms of anti-Semitism and violence related to anti-Semitism. And so it really did upset, uh, naturally, many members of our community. Uh, I think, though, because we are a faith community, I think that we have that strength and that resolve amongst ourselves to be able to draw upon our faith and to work together to provide a mutual sense of safety and security amongst ourselves. And I think beyond this, in the wake of this, the ultimate message is that despite how this person attempted to, to basically hor horrifically assault the community as they were observing their faith, our faith is very much our strength and our center, and that will endure. Gotcha. Again, we're at the Ohev Zedek Synagogue in Boardman, and later on in this half hour, I will let you know um, how the Jewish community is taking these steps forward to healing and what, can, what we can do and what they can do to stop this from happening. Live in Boardman, Noah Daniels Water, WKBN 27 First News.